Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought I'd show you how you can take external GPS data and sync it up with your photographs in Lightroom. Uh, now, for example, if your camera doesn't have a G GPS on it or you need to use a smartphone app on it, uh, what you can actually just use is a GPS app. The one that I used for this demonstration was a uh, Gaia GPS, but you could also use a Garmin or any uh, GPS that saves the format into GPX format, which is an XML text file basically that gives uh, information on the time and the coordinates that you were um, as you were hiking or walking or photographing in this case. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we've gone to map. So of course we have library right here where we have uh, the pictures that we want to tag and we're just going to go to map and uh, from map we're going to go here and we're going to go load track log and I'm going to select this right here because this is the track log you can see it's a GPX file and once I bring that in you can see there is a uh, a trail here. Now th this goes over a couple of miles because I actually drove between different locations and walked around and took a couple of photographs for this demonstration. And the photographs are down here or we can see them by going over to library. So here are the photographs. Now if we go back to map you can see we've just got a line here right now. If I go down here below at these thumbnails or if I go back to library and select the photographs I'm going to select them all from this set. And if I go here and I go to auto tag 29 pho photographs, it actually puts them at the sites where I actually took them at. So I stopped at three sites. So this is the first one. It shows the photographs, the second one, and the third one. Furthermore, if I, I zoom in some, it will actually show the areas uh, that I took each of these photos or, or the groups of photos or where I was standing at the time. Uh, it can be more or less accurate. Um, one thing you want to make sure is that your um, camera time and your GPS time or your iPhone time are synced up to the exact same time. It doesn't matter if they're all one minute off. The closer they are to ex the exact same time, the better off you are because what it does is uh, it goes in and it, it, it tracks you, the GPS tracks you as you're moving around every so many seconds. And uh, it matches up the photograph by time. So the time the photograph was taken, it will match us to the closest point of time that the GPS recorded uh, a location. So it's a great way to uh, sync up your camera if you don't have a, an app or the app for your camera to use the GPS. You may have problems with this. This works really easily because it gives you one file. Uh, the um, the uh, app that I used worked great. And um, the other nice thing about this is if you have multiple cameras and they're different brands, you might have problems syncing both of them up at once to your smartphone if that's what you need to do. So in this case, you're syncing them all to this one app and so uh, it works out great. It gives you a, a record of where you were and it matches it up with the photographs. I'm Dean and this has been Photo Blue and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like.